Hey there, I'm Soundy, and this is how to make a top-down 2D RPG in Unity. Welcome to episode 7, Upgrading to Unity 6. In this tutorial, we'll be going through the process of upgrading our previous project from Unity's 2022 LTS into the new Unity 6 LTS. Right. To begin the process of updating, we're first going to open the Unity Hub, find our project, and then go across to the editor version dropdown. From here, we'll select the version we're going to be upgrading to. For me, that's Unity 6 subversion 38F1. Okay. It's then going to prompt you and ask you if you definitely want to upgrade to this version. I'm going to hit continue. It's important, by the way, to make a backup before you start this process, uh, especially if it's not just for this tutorial project. Okay. Here it's going to ask if we want to automatically update for any new API changes that have occurred. I'm going to select yes in this case. Again, it's highly recommended that you back up your project before you upgrade as it can lead to issues. Now it's going to say that the materials in the project need to be converted. Okay, and it's going to recommend that you update all of the packages that you were previously using, which have pending updates. This is going to make sure they're fully compatible with Unity 6. So for now though, we'll just update these ones and it's just a case of selecting each one and hitting the update button, okay? We're gonna do this all in one go. So if there is an issue, we're identifying it very quickly and then we can take steps maybe to fix that. But here, everything's updated nicely. So all we're gonna do now is go ahead and run the game and take a look-see and it looks like everything's fine. To get started now that we've got the, the engine open. Uh, what we're first going to do is just go through some of the things that will have changed from the previous version we were using, which was 2022 LTS to Unity 6. For anyone who's upgrading from that version into this and is wondering how things are different, okay? So the first thing we want to cover is City Machine. So City Machine is different from 2022 to Unity 6. There's a, a major version change in the form of it going from what I believe is major version 2 to major version 3. So what we're first gonna do is go ahead and take out uh, City Machine. We're gonna uninstall it and then reinstall it to upgrade. Um, now in my version here, I've already got uh, City Machine in and working in the, in the latest version. So it's gonna look a little different here. But it might be that when you've upgraded, you have that uh, previous version still installed. So let's let's first remove that. So we're just going to delete the player camera. Okay, we're going to go into our LCA, which by the way stands for Lights Camera Action. We're going to find our main camera. Okay, in there, and then over here in the hierarchy, we're just going to go ahead and remove the uh, Cine Machine brain. So we're just going to select those three dots and hit the Remove Component button. Okay. So that's Cine Machine removed from the scene, but now in Package Manager, and just for anyone wondering, that's under Window Package Manager. Uh, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to our Unity Registry, okay? And we're gonna find Cine Machine from our list. We're gonna remove it, okay? And if it does give you the option to upgrade, I would recommend removing it first and then reinstalling it rather than trying to upgrade. City Machine can have a couple of problems when it's trying to upgrade sometimes. And in our case, it's actually just really straightforward to hit that uninstall uh, and then reinstall button there. And go ahead and bring in uh, City Machine back and we'll just quickly hook it up. It won't take us uh, a second at all to set up in our case. So for us, this is the, uh, the simplest approach to avoid any issues. So we've gone ahead and bought that in. We're just gonna check the console. There's no errors down here, that's great. So now we can just right click and now we've got some new menus here um, compared to what it was before. So for us, the 2D camera is actually buried now under targeted cameras and then 2D camera. Okay, so we're gonna select that. It's gonna create as our camera here. We're gonna name that to player cam, just like we did before. And then over here in our inspector, just like we did before, we're going to change the track target to be the player. Okay, so we're just going to grab the player and then drag and drop that over here. And then we're just going to change our ortho size, which was previously called ortho size and which is now called lens, over to uh, 8. 
the number eight instead. So we just go ahead and select that and then do that. And that is going to changes out to have that zoomed out feel that we got before. Okay, and you can adjust that to your liking. Okay, so if you wanted to change that to be zoomed in a little bit more, you can or zoom down even further than you can. That's totally fine. But now if we go ahead and F10 and then control P to run the game, you can see where again, the camera is following us nicely. We got a little bit of easing in there. So it's not super snapping to our player. Uh, and we're able to move around just the same as we had before. Okay. So that Cine machine sorted out for us. Now there's uh, a few other changes that have happened since um, we've upgraded. So in the hierarchy, if we go ahead and select world, grid, and then ground, okay, that uh, shows us our, our tile map here for the ground. You can see the colliders all there set up as it was before. But if you look down here in the inspector, you'll notice that the previous tick box we had for use composite is gone. Okay, and it's now replaced with this drop down menu. Okay, so if you're trying to follow the previous tutorial, but you're using Unity 6, then the fix for this is you just select uh, merge out of that list. Okay, and that'll do the same as before. It'll, it'll then start using this composite collider from below. Everything else should be the same here. So that's, uh, that's a nice thing to, to take note of. Uh, next up, you might be getting a warning in the console warning you about uh, a graphical uh, setting in the project settings menu. So if we go edit project settings and then we look at graphics, Okay, and then we scroll all the way to the bottom, right? So, so I was already scrolled there, but if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, you'll see compatibility mode here. Um, oh, sorry, let me scroll down there. Um, oh, hold on. Let me just get back there one second. Okay, so we go all the way to the bottom and you'll see compatibility mode. By default, that's gonna be checked if you've upgraded um, from a previous version of Unity Unity is just going to check that for you because it's going to assume that you might have been using previous things that are perhaps not compatible with Unity 6 and how it wants to handle things. In our case, it should be fine though. So we can just uncheck this and then the warning in the console will stop uh, appearing, which is super useful for us. So we can close that out now because I already unchecked that. So finally, uh, to note is the change to how Unity handles some naming conventions in script. Okay, so I don't quite know why they decided to change rigid body um, dot velocity to uh, rigid body dot linear velocity. Okay, but uh, they did right. And it's confused a lot of people, okay? But it is just the same as before, okay? It is just rigid body dot velocity, but now they've changed the, the wording of it to be linear velocity, okay? Um, it might be because there's also angular velocity and it is important to differentiate between the two and linear velocity is, is, is you know, I guess that's a better naming convention. But if you're getting confused as to why you're getting a deprecated error, because if we do just do um, velocity, autocorrect for us but uh if you do just do velocity you'll notice it's saying it's obsolete please use linear velocity instead okay so that's the nice easy fix for that and and when we've upgraded by the way it's automatically done this for us so you shouldn't have to change this if you've upgraded but if you're just using unity 6 and you're following the previous tutorials you might be getting confused as to why we were using velocity before and then why now it's linear velocity it's just a naming change don't worry about it there's a couple other changes they've made like that, but they aren't going to impact us um, yet. So this should be this should be fine. So that's how we set up for Unity 6, and we've made some great preparations for some upcoming systems we'll be making, including a gem currency system, interactable objects, an inventory system, and much, much more. I'd like to shout out the Rosy Keyboard 387 from the Discord server for really helping me get back into making these tutorials. I've been a bit sidetracked working on my two upcoming Steam games, Crate Mage and Pool Course Submersion. Feel free to wishlist those bad boys as they'll be releasing soon. And as always, 
hit me up with any questions in the Discord. Catch you in the next one.